Shalom. Shalom. <coughs> Coming to you in the name of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachakudash. From Yad Dabu Onis unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well and salutes unto the Arkham that continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. Um, and um, you know, I'm currently um, way, way under the weather. Um, with uh, you know, particular ailments, but um, I got like a, a ginger blast, um, going with a little bit of um raw honey. You know, so um, Lord willing, you know, with prayers and um, you know, taking these things, I can recover soon, man. You know, but sicknesses are demons, man. You know, that just pretty much. Control, alt, delete, shut down the, 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 the body, man. You know. This is why we need Yahweh Shai to come back. Because the scripture says with uh, healing in his wings, man. But anyhow. I'm going to get into this a little bit real quick. And this is live. You know, I could watch it live from the BBC app but I'm not going to do that because they'll do me for copyright but this is live right now you know and then basically Sunak which is uh, Rishi Sunak and Javid Quick cabinet as, as PM which is the Prime Minister um, Bojo Boris Johnson admits pinch a mistake right so the summary is right now is that the Chancellor Rishi Sunak and the Health Secretary, Secretary Sajid Javid quit Boris Johnson's cabinet piling pressure on the PM. You know, so um, it's all going down, man. All right. Um, Sunak, um, Sunak said the public expects government to be conducted properly, competently and seriously. You know, um, Health Secretary Javid tells the PM he can no longer, in good conscience, continue serving in this government. Both men quit after Johnson apologised for appointing a Tory MP to his government who had faced allegations. <coughs> oh, boy. <coughs> Salakia. Oh, bear me one second. Say apologies, man. You know, Salakia. You know, my sincere apologies to you, Akim Wa Akwaf, man. You know, you know. We we say um, we come raw in our videos, which we do, because there ain't nothing wrong with it. But you know, um, you wouldn't want to overdo your business <laughs> on camera on purpose, man. But I can't really help it right now. So um, I apologize for um, for that, man. You know, Salakia, man. For real, man, Salaki, you know, you how much your shirt, Salaki, man, and um, you know, to to you brothers and sisters, man, you know. <laughs> Anyways, man, it's the flesh, man. It's all fucked up. Just get a little bit of this ginger. <sighs> so um, yeah, the health secretary Javid tells P and he can no longer, and then good conscience continue serving in this government. Both men quit after Johnson apologised for appointing a Tory um, MP, I read that already, um, government, uh, to his government who had faced allegations of sexual misconduct. Um, and um, there was a show that I watched on Netflix the other day. I forget what it's called. But um, it was pretty much based on the... The, the, um, the UK government, and it was the same storyline. But it's just that it was the... The shadow PM was um was the one with the allegations on him. So they're showing you, you know, in the shows and then doing it out in the real public act. I need to find the name of that show. Um the PM won a vote of no confidence in his leadership last month 
though 148 of his own MPs voted against him. As a result, he is protected from a further vote of no confidence for a year. But some MPs have called the, for the rules to be changed to oust him. You know, so if your own people them don't like you in your own cabinet, bro, how are you going to, you know, that you can do anything upright, progressive or righteous anyway, but how are they going to even lead in wickedness if the team ain't playing together? You know, in fact, let me go from there to a preset real quick. How's it go? Um, give me a second. Um, um, uh, if. So what does that mean for us, man? You could just say, well, you're just bringing out an article. Well, we're bringing out prophecies, man. We're showing you in these news updates that prophecy is coming to pass. All right? You know, that's not your how I say in the scriptures. Not one drop, no one tittle. So no words be changed from the law to all be fulfilled. Yeah, that speaks about the law, but that also gets into um the prophecies, the fulfillment of the book, Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek out the book of the Lord and read, no one of these shall fail. In fact, I'm quoting it, but let me read this first. I'll get it. Matthew 12 and 26. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? So by these people going against each other, you know, the American population went in, Sleepy Joe out, you know, we're just seeing the collapse, man. So what does that result in? Oh, he's out of office. He stepped down. They left the PM. Vote of no confidence. In yeah, past that, his kingdom is 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 is, is in question. The scripture poetically asks the question or asks the question here: How shall then his kingdom stand? The answer is it can't. You know, bit by bit, brick by brick, little by little, bit by bit, it's crumbling. It's falling, man. Okay, it's falling. Um, what was I going to get? I was going to get the book of Isaiah. <sighs> Bear me one second. Oh, no, <sighs> Isaiah, where's that? Yep. 34. 16, and it says, um, Seek out the book of the Lord, Jehovah, Shemi, Hawashai. And read, no one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth, it have commanded in the spirit of gathered them. So, um, there you have it, man. No one of the prophecies are going to fail. So you're seeing the government's crumble, man. Now, this is live. So there's probably some updates or whatever, man. But this is big news, man. You know, two key players with key roles in his cabinet have just left him, man. You know... <laughs> You know, what for, for for sexual assault um charges, you know, and all of that stuff. You know, being admitted to the mistake is crazy, man. Um, let me see some. Uh, probably close it out on this. Make the. Don't look, man. He's. His shit is being um, exposed on small levels, or intermediate levels, and then um, what um, you know, conglomerate, conglomerate, wider levels, man, on all levels possible. The devil, Satan, the adversary, and his little minions are being fucking exposed, man. So Isaiah forty seven and two, take the millstones and grind mill, and cover thy locks, make bare the leg, and cover thy thigh, pass over the rivers, cause. According to biblical, uh, or Eastern, I should say, Oriental custom, which is Orient is of the East, the leg, especially the upper thigh, is considered the private part, you know. So when you're exposing the leg, you're exposing his private part, you're exposing his, his dirty secrets. You know, and we're not, 